Hey, Whalen Fun Players. Today we're going to look at my my, my magic adventures globe. Let's explore with Whalen Fun Play, which is me. So, we turn this leapfrog. Welcome to the Magic Adventures Globe. That's what it's called. You'll need to use the stylus to play with this globe. The stylus okay, works best when tapped straight against the globe, not at an angle. Okay, so let me try. Tap the buttons around the screen to make selections. Okay, that sounds simple. So I'm just going to... Country! Animals! Do you guys Use want to learn about animals? My personal favorite. Let's learn about animals. So... The Tenrek is a small mammal that lives on Madagascar and the Comoros Islands, but some are also found on mainland Africa. Tenreks resemble a hedgehog, though one of their closest relatives is a golden mole. Tenreks are omnivores and eat insects, bird eggs, small vertebrates, and fruit. Tenreks have incredible reproductive abilities and can have litters of 32 young. Did you guys know that? That was so cool. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Hit that subscribe button and make it turn gray. Go! And please leave a like on a video. Okay, let's get back to the video. So you can leave a like on this video. So, what about where we live? The Canada? Of the moose is found in the snowy forests of North America, Europe, and Asia. Europe? Moose can weigh over 1,500 pounds, and their huge antlers can spread six feet from end to end. Despite their large size, moose can run up to 34 miles an hour when threatened. That's cool. Look at that one's big horns. That looks big. They're big. That's cool, guys. Did you guys know that? Probably not, because this Magic Adventures globe has everything. The orca, also known as a killer whale, is found throughout the world's oceans. They are known for their large, black and white bodies. They hunt marine mammals, whales, and fish. Though they are highly aggressive, they are not known to have killed people in the wild. Whoa, that... I've heard of an orca, but I haven't heard of them eating whales. Aren't they known as killer whales? Well, they kill the whales, huh? Get it? But orcas are my favorite sea animals. If you guys... The sea living in the warmer waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, the clown anemone fish is a group of colorful fish. Many anemone fish are yellow, orange, or red in color, with white bars along their body. Anemone fish are particularly unique in that they form a very close relationship with sea anemones. Sea anemones protect the clown anemone fish from predators, and in turn, the clown anemone fish fight off their predators and parasites. Whoa, that's so cool, guys. Did you guys know about... The double-waddled cassowary is one of the largest birds in New Guinea and Indonesia. Like emus and ostriches, these cassowaries are flightless birds, which means they cannot fly. Double-waddled cassowaries live a very lonely life. The male birds of this species build nests, hatch the eggs, and raise the chicks all by themselves. That's so sad. They're lonely. But if you don't want to be lonely, hit that subscribe button. Swimming. The siamang is found in the mountains of Southeast Asia, in Sumatra, Malaysia, and Thailand. It lives in the forest and eats fruits and leaves. Thanks to a large pouch on its throat, the siamang can make a loud song which help other siamangs know it's there. Adult siamangs groom each other as part of an important social interaction. Okay, that's cool, guys. Now we're going to move on to 
to geology. geology. Use the stylus to touch the purple geology icons on the globe or other features such as rivers and mountains. Whoa, that's so cool, guys. We should make a part two because this globe has so much things. What about up here in Canada? Wait, wait. Using Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario is the smallest of the five great lakes of North America. It is also the farthest east. Lake Ontario forms part of the boundary between the United States and Canada. It is bordered on the north by the Canadian province of Ontario. Whoa, the U.S. That's state of New York is to the south. That's super cool. Like, did you guys... Wait, what's that? I didn't even... Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is divided into two main sections. The larger part of the falls is in Canada, and the smaller part of the falls is in the USA. It, in every minute, 12 million cubic feet of water flows over the falls. The Iroquois Indians named the falls Niagara, meaning thunder of water, for the roaring noise the falls make as the water plunges to the bottom. Whoa! I never knew one side was from the USA and one was from Canada. Did you guys know that? That must have been cool if you guys ever knew Never knew that, and I never knew that too. Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is located in the U.S. states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Yellowstone is home to over 60% of the world's geysers, which are natural hot springs with unique plumbing that causes them to periodically erupt in towering explosions of boiling water and steam. The surrounding canyons, mountains, and forests are also impressive. Look, Yellowstone is equally known for its wildlife, such as grizzly bears, bison, moose, elk, and wolves. Well, do you guys like wolves? I do. Arr, I wish we found wolves in that. Animals. So, we're gonna... What did I just do? The Amazing World Quiz Show! What did I just find? Real quick. But, that, I just glitched it, maybe... But can I tell you something? Everybody out there, hit the like button. Make it turn blue Welcome like the, the ocean. And make the like button turn gray like these bed sheets from Fort. Also, concrete. We'll need to use the stylus. Why is that hurt? Country. Where were we? Geology. Use the stylus to touch the purple, the great blue hole. The Great Blue Hole is an underwater sinkhole that researchers believe is the largest of its kind, located 43 miles off the coast of Belize. The sinkhole originally formed as a limestone cave during the last glacial period, a time when sea levels were much lower. As the ocean began to rise, the cave system flooded and eventually collapsed, creating a vertical cave in the ocean. It is circular in shape and characterized by its rich blue color. It is over 984 feet across and 410 feet deep. An island of coral encircles the shallow, light turquoise-colored waters of a lagoon. Whoa, I never knew that, guys. Did you? I bet you didn't. Come on, you didn't. Okay, we're going to do one more. What about here? Fairy tap another area to find an interesting geological feature. Fairy chimneys. The formation of this strange landscape in Turkey started during the third geological period, when three volcanoes located on the edges of this region began erupting frequently. The deposits of volcano ash, lava, and basalt laid the foundation for today's landscape. Earthquakes and ongoing effects of erosion have contributed to form the valleys and the fairy chimneys that can be seen today. Whoa, that's so cool, guys. That's really, really cool. I never knew about that. Landmarks. Use the stylus to touch the purple landmark so icons on the globe landmarks. and learn about some man-made wonders. So let's see. Okay, Canada. That's where I live. Use the stylus to touch the purple land, the CN Tower. The CN Tower is also known as the Canadian National Tower and is located in Toronto, Canada. 
It is 1,815 feet tall and was the tallest freestanding structure until the Burj Khalifa was built in Dubai in 2007. The CN Tower has a restaurant 1,151 feet in the sky and rotates completely around every 72 minutes. Whoa. Did you guys know? Probably not. Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the set the Empire State Building. The Empire State Building is a 102-story skyscraper in Manhattan, New York City. It was the tallest structure in the world until 1971 at 1,250 feet. A TV antenna was later added, making it 1,454 feet tall. It took around 3,400 workers to complete the Empire State Building, and it only took 410 days. 410? Only 410 days? That's like one year, bruh. Uh, that's... Yeah. The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty has stood in the New York Bay of the United States since 1886. It was given to the United States as a gift from the French to honor the friendship of the two countries. Visitors can climb the 354 steps from the base all the way up to the head of the statue. Do you guys know that uh, Statue of Liberty is one of the most popular landmarks in the world i'm pretty sure yeah it's really popular like my friends know about it like everything jack if you're watching this please hit the like button and tell your channel to subscribe jack he's seen this before and it's super Using fun when we play this the use the stylus to touch the purple landmark icons on the globe and learn about some man-made wonders the Forbidden City. Whoa. The Forbidden City is a group of buildings in Beijing built in the 1400s that contain the palaces of several emperors. It has a large gate called the Tiananmen that has become a symbol of China. It was named the Forbidden City because for many years common people were not allowed there. It is now a museum that is open to the public. Where should we? The Great Wall of China. Whoa. The Great Wall of China is not actually one wall, but many walls all tied together. It is one of the biggest structures ever built by mankind. It was built by the ancient Chinese to protect them from invading armies. Whoa. That's a big wall. It would probably be like, you want to know how big it would probably be? Like, this big. That's how big I think it is. Now, next one. Capitals. Use the stylus capitals. to touch the globe and learn about the world's capital okay. cities. Okay, what about my country, Canada? Ottawa. Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. That's our, my flag. I like red. Okay, most of you are probably watching this. Well, a ton of people make... Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is the capital city of the United States. Whoa. Washington. I like Washington. Mexico City. Mexico City is the capital city of Mexico. Mexico City. That's dumb. I don't know. Washington, D.C. Wait. Oh, Washington, D.C. is Russia? Moscow. Moscow is the capital city of Russia. Beijing. Beijing is the capital city of China. Whoa. We're not going to be on this one that long. What about Philippines? Manila. Manila is the capital city of Philippines. Manila? It sounds like, it sounds like a Godzilla son from Son of Godzilla. Watch that. Okay, wait, one more, Japan. Tokyo. Tokyo is the capital city of Japan. Tokyo, that's cool. Everybody, now let's... Languages, flags. Okay, use the style of language. Wait for part two on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, make the like button turn blue, and see ya in the next video. Magic Adventures Globe.